All right, uh, next thing we're going to look at are these two examples. Uh, so we're going to try to solve these. I'm going to try to get my variables on the same side. Uh, when I do that, uh, this is going to cancel and leave me 7. Uh, this is going to cancel right here and leave me negative 5. Over on the other one, when I try to get my variables on the same side, I'll get 7 is greater than negative 1. Now, as you can see, we have some unique solutions on these. Both of my variables have canceled, so it's just left me an inequality that only has numbers. Well, your job is now to figure out, is the, are these true or not? If it's true, then your answer is all real numbers. If it's not true, then your answer be no solution. Well, 7 is not less than negative 5. So therefore, the answer for this one would be no solution. So again, that inequality is not true. And then how you can denote uh, is you can just put the little circle with a line through it. Uh, interval notation wise, that's kind of what you would put. Uh, for this one, you could also do null set, I guess, would be another way to do it. As you can see, my brackets kind of are not too good. Uh, the other one, though, is true. So you can see that 7 is greater than negative 1. So this answer would be all real numbers. And your interval notation for that would be positive infinity comma negative infinity. So basically anything for positive and negative infinity will work. So keep that in mind. Uh, just a quick reminder, make sure that uh, when your variables cancel, you look to see if the inequality is true to determine how you'll get your answer.